Decaf. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. That was fun last night, wasn't it? Your daughter's first night in our new home. Yeah, I had a blast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did too. It was kind of nice having a little girl around. Who knows, maybe that's what we're expecting. You're pregnant? Well, I was wondering how you could top getting arrested at your own wedding, but hey, having a baby in jail, that's, that's pure genius. I'm not going to jail. The charges were dropped. Yeah, Victor came around and he uh, got her off the hook. Are oh, you kidding yourselves if you believe that? You're gonna be on Victor's hook till the day you die. You're lucky. Uh, please, can we all be seated so that we can begin? I can't believe Pomerantz had the nerve to be here after what he tried to pin on Chance. Nina, Owen's just doing his job. Now, Heather says he's going after Ronin with everything he's got. Welcome. My name is Brock Reynolds, and uh, I just want to thank you all for being here uh, for this celebration of life of Philip Robert Chancellor the Fourth, better known as Chance to many of you. I had the privilege of knowing Chance when he was a boy, along with his mother and father, Nina and Philip, his grandmother, Jill, his uncle, William. And of course, there's his extended family, one of which was my beloved mother, Catherine Chancellor, my duchess. So I think we'll start with a few words from them. Philip, would you be so kind? When my son was first born, the last thing I wanted to do was be a father. Look at him, Philip. He wants to look at you. He wants to know you. And he has every right to know his father. So there I was, holding my little baby. And I couldn't handle it. I ran, and when I came back, Chance forgave me. I think it's such an appropriate nickname that he has. Chance of the fourth, Chance. He always gave people chances. I don't know if I deserve to be called his father, but I, you know, I was very proud of my son. Life was really chaotic when Chance was born. Do you remember? And his family, aside from Nina and myself, 
was cobbled together by whoever happened to be living on the estate at the time. And you may think that it would be confusing for a little child to be surrounded by this cast of characters. Believe me, they were characters. But the truth is, he got the best of all of us. You know, he got his mother's devotion and her strength, and he got his father's warmth and his good looks. And he got Catherine's zest for life. And Esther, he got your loyalty. And from Brock, he got your generosity and your forthrightness. From me, he got my determination. Okay, fine, my stubbornness. The point is, in his case, the whole was definitely, definitely larger than the sum of its parts. You know, gentlemen, the world is a better place for chance having been in it also. And all of our lives have been enriched just for the knowing of him. Just for the knowing of him. And grief is the price that we do pay for love. All of us. And I think it's worth it. Hold chance in the palm of your hand, O oh Lord, along with all the brave souls who've defended our freedom. Send angels to comfort and protect the service men and women still at war. Bring them home safely, or if not, hold them close and offer them everlasting life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. On behalf of the President of the United States and the people of this great nation, I present this flag as a token of appreciation for the honorable and faithful service your loved one rendered this nation.
she seems to be doing oh, she's something fine. fine. She sucks. But back to the other topic, I think that you could at least acknowledge your father's gesture. Oh, the thank you for ruining my wedding and having me arrested and thrown in jail. That gesture? All right, well, he did admit his culpability. Oh, well, that was very big of him, considering that Mitsukoshi was his deal, and I dropped everything I was doing and went to Japan to save his butt. And how did he acknowledge that? By turning me into the federal authorities. So, excuse me, I'm sorry if I am not as slick at breaking right. the law as my father is. Shh, keep your voice down. Problems? No, no, Jack, no problems. no problems. But I can guess. I'll bet you can, too. Pretty good timing on Tucker's part, offering you the job at Jabot last night. I bet we both know how your father's gonna react. Hmm, yeah. I would send my father into orbit. You gonna take the job? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. See you later, Take care. Uh, we need to pick up Delia from Tiny Tots, and we'd be happy to pick up Reed if you want to stay. I'd really like to wait until my dad gets here, catch up a little bit. All right. Um, I'll call you later about picking him up. Perfect. I'd like to talk to you. Sorry. I can't. I gotta go.